Savannah. I'm Casey. And we're building Gather Homestead right now. And we're gonna take you on a tour of our chicken coop. It's back here. How long did this take us? Oh gosh. So it's April. We started building it in November. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't all active, but it just took a long time, a long time through the winter now that's not to discourage you it really could only take not that long but it's just we acquired materials over time and mm -hmm. and blah, then it blah, was blah, cold blah. and it rained yeah. and we didn't want to do it and anyway so on and so. um it is basically basically complete now so Casey is gonna start a little tour for you and we're just gonna show you all the little details Thanks. and things that we did okay first of all this is our guard dog farm dog hazel she's very useful on the farm <laughs> i like to make her think she is anyway so we have this is like obvious well really this is the side i consider the side of the coop um savannah used the jigsaw to cut the moon shape out we kind of always said we wanted to have a moon shape cut out of our chicken coop when we designed it. The color is Pink Ground by Pharaoh and Ball. And um, I'll link below to, to that information. Um, we also, below here, just did a little um, garden bed, kind of for a variety of reasons. Um, we thought we would want it for like, to be beneficial to the chickens, but really they just peck at it and ruin it. So. They don't have access to it now. Um, but we just have a variety of things in there like lavender and mint, different lettuces and kale. Nothing too exciting. We haven't like harvested anything out of there. It's now just kind of for looks. Let's move to the side. All right, so this is um, where we get access into the chicken coop. Um, have someone I think laying in there. We just have a two by four here as a roost. We have a piece of wood here, but they have never roosted on that. I, we can't figure out why they will roost on this. Um, their laying boxes are here and there is a chicken in there currently. And then um, this is just pine shavings down here. Um, it's super easy to clean out. It literally takes me less than five minutes. So um, I just pull our big cart down here and then I have um, just a broom and I just sweep it in there because we laid it down with vinyl tiles, which are like super cheap. So it's super slick. And then once a week, no, sorry, once a month, we sprinkle lime on it because that just helps keep the smell and insects out. Um, and then, I'll put a thin layer down and then I'll add to that more pine shavings and then eventually like every week or every couple of weeks I'll when it gets really dirty I'll clean it all out. Alright. Alright. Really? Um, the reason we made this door so big was and basically made it this high was to clean it out easily. Um, we had a chicken coop before that was like a converted shed and it was a nightmare to clean out. So basically everything we did is a chicken like losing her mind right now. I think she wants to lay an egg. Um, anyway. We're interrupting. Yeah. <laughs> the, everything we designed, I say we, Savannah designed was to make it easy for us to clean or, you know, just to make operating the chicken coop easy. Um, and this is the side, this is the egg door. So just open it up and this is where the laying boxes are. Um, and I'll just go in here and, you know, check for eggs. We have these fake wooden eggs in here in both boxes. Um, because when we got our first egg, they were everywhere. They were like in the run, in the coop. And that we were just read that was the easiest way to encourage them to lay in the boxes. And really, once we did that, they they really did start laying in there. Um, there's also a vent over here. We'll show you all where all the vents are and everything. The 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 crescent moon. moon is also a vent. Will eventually be covered with a window for the winter time to keep it warm. Um, and then in these bins, we have pine I have pine shavings in here. Um, they're 
food is in here and then I have diatomaceous earth in here which they're supposed to roll around in and be happy but they hate it and don't do anything with it so I just use it for the garden now this is our run this is the door you know it's just flat it's completely predator proof um there is net there's chicken wire is on the bottom and that way so if any anything tried to dig under the chicken coop they wouldn't be able to go up because there's a lot of things that will eat their food we were actually having a problem with that um, before it was completely predator proof there's also chicken wire on the top um, we discovered quickly that birds were coming into their um, space birds and squirrels um, because when we first put it on, it wasn't completely secure. There was a couple of holes. And then I would wake up in the morning and there would be birds and squirrels like flying around in here. We cover those holes up and so now it's completely, you know, predator proof. What we also have in here is Savannah made them a swing, which I wish I could say that they got on it, but they don't really. They do get on this little ladder teepee thing that she made. And then we just have their water hanging up in there and their food, just so it'll stay dry, it stays under their house. That is also all screened in. Ooh, pardon me, ladies. Coming into your home. So, on the ground, you know, there's the chicken wire, then we put wood chips down, and we also have straw on top of that. Okay, I'm gonna peck it at my toes. Um, Ursula likes pecking on the toes. And so well, I just, we just add straw as, as needed as it breaks down. Um, here is their, is this, um, is their door. But you don't ever really close it. You would close that if you didn't have a completely predator proof run. We keep it open. Under the coop um, is actually uh, a great place to put their food because we don't have to worry about moving, like it getting wet from the rain. It also um, gives them more room. And like when it's raining, they will just go under there or they'll go, they'll go in their coop. And then we also have this vent here. So we have three vents um, just to provide proper circulation. And oh, you can't, I don't think you can see it, but there's a xylophone down here because we read that they'll play with that. I think we might move it because they don't. And all I want is to see them um, ding, 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 ding with their beaks. But so far they haven't um, tried to do that. We have this very temporary structure just to give them more. We were letting them free range, um, but they get into all the gardens. And right now we're not in a place to fence off the garden. So we have these cattle panels that we just created this makeshift um, little space for them. They've already like gotten like eaten all the grass there's hardly any vegetation in here um, so eventually we're going to create um, like a more movable thing where we can move them around the yard so this is just what we have for now but they love to go out here and they get really mad um, when they can't can't get out here so this is this is their extended run yeah and like it's it's all, there's all this wood from work we're working on building things and we need to clean it up but they don't seem to mind it's like a playground to them they get they get on these buckets that are broken and ruined so it, it looks like a giant trash can but they love it they love it I also wanted to mention that our water is hanging um, as you can see our food was on the ground and we eventually are going to put in some automatic feeders um, but that's the way of right now but we had to put the water up like hang it from the top of the run run because you know they the just hay got the hay in the water water mm -hmm. all the time which it's meant to hang we just hadn't done it yet but it's great when it's hung we're also going planning on putting a rainwater system in so they have automatic water um, and we have all the supplies for that we just haven't done it yet and got free rain barrels off of Craigslist guys that's one thing I would we didn't talk about was the core of this whole coop was built completely for free yeah. um, the only thing we paid money for were the um, the outside pieces that were that are painted but like all of the the structure and 
um, of the actual coop was all stuff we got from friends that had left, like that didn't need wood or from Craigslist. It's kind of what took us forever. We spent a lot of time acquiring um, materials. Free materials yeah. yeah. We ended up having to buy the wood um, just for the outside, but other than that, everything was like scrap stuff that we picked up, which is a great way to build your coop. Because honestly, it would have kind of been expensive if we would have bought all this, the wood um, right. brand new. This wood is just fence fence panels. It's um, fence pickets. Fence pickets. That's what it is. Um, we just didn't like the color, so we painted it. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. But that's not that's yeah. not necessary. But it's right. like it's really not. cheap wood. The the fence pickets are they're like a dollar eighty or something like that a piece. Yeah, so it's crazy. It, there, it was the most affordable way we could go, and we always had planned on painting it. We always wanted it to be pink. Um, we didn't know what pink, but we figured that out obviously. So the fact that there's like it's like ugly yellow wood, we were like, it's fine. We're gonna paint it. Right. So it was perfect for us. Um, and yeah. then um, the metal, yeah, the roof is metal. I forgot to say that it's like corrugated metal that we just happened to be at the flea market, and this this person had these like three sheets of corrugated metal. Yeah, I think like, it was like five dollars a piece or something. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. So there's just all kinds of ways to get um, yeah. really inexpensive yeah. materials. So if you're going to build your coop, um, you know, if you can just buy all the stuff outright and you want to do that, that's great. Um, if you want to do it for really cheap, it takes a lot longer to accumulate all the materials, but it is possible. So, yeah, even the chicken wire you can get on Craigslist. Yeah. Um, anyway, thanks. Hope you enjoyed that. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, come back for more. Bye guys. Bye.